हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी शैल लर्न अबाउट द डेक्लोरेटिव सेंटेंसेस सेंटेंसेस कैन बी डेक्लोरेटिव इंटरोगेटिव इम्पेरेटिव एंड एक्सक्लेमेटरी लुक एट द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस एंड रीड देम आफ्टर मी Anmol is a smart boy. My friend gave me a beautiful pen. I am never late for school. Please notice that these sentences are simple statements. which express an idea opinion or a fact these types of sentences are called declarative sentences declarative sentences are also called assertive sentences let us have a look at some more examples of declarative sentences please repeat them after me Ashi sings very well. It is very hot today. My daughter and I love cooking. My father will go to Agra next week. You must have noticed that all these sentences state, assert or declare something and that is why they are called as declarative sentences. These are the most commonly used sentences. Declarative sentences are of two types, positive and negative. Positive sentences are also called affirmative sentences. Look at the following sentences and repeat them after me. Shalu is happy. I like reading books. These are positive sentences because they are conveying positive meaning and note that the negative words like no not none nobody never etc are not used in these sentences and so we can say that the sentences which convey positive meaning are called positive sentences positive sentences are also called affirmative sentences Now look at the same sentences again and notice the difference. Please repeat after me. Shalu is not happy. I don't like reading books. What is the difference here? We have added not to these positive sentences now do they convey positive meaning no now they are negative sentences because they are giving negative meaning like shalu is not happy i don't like reading books so the sentences which have any negative word like no not none etc are called negative sentences remember both the positive and the negative types of declarative sentences end with a full stop now please pay attention to these examples first is i have many friends how will we change this affirmative sentence into a negative sentence if we say 
I have not many friends. Is this correct? No, it is not correct. The correct negative sentence for this is I do not have many friends. We know that do is used when the subject is I, you, we and they. And so we add a do not to make it a negative sentence. Now look at the other example. She sings very well. How will we make it into a negative sentence? She does not sing very well. Why have we done so? Because we know that when the sentence is in simple present, we use does for he, she, it and singular subject and to make it negative, we have to use any negative word. So we write, she does not sing very well. Please note that we do not add s or es with verb when does is used in a sentence. So it would be wrong if we say she does not sings very well. So the correct sentence is she does not sing very well. Now look at the last sentence. All of my friends came for my birthday party. This is also an affirmative sentence. We can change this sentence into a negative sentence in two ways. First, none of my friends came for my birthday party. We have used the negative word none. And this sentence means that no friend of mine came for my birthday party. And the other way is all of my friends did not come for my birthday party. Here the negative word not is used and this sentence means that few friends came for my birthday party, not all. Please note that when the sentence is in simple past, we use did and the first form of verb is always used with did. So we don't say did not came. We say all of my friends did not come for my birthday party. Look at these sentences. Let us quickly find out the affirmative and negative sentences. I am sure you can easily find out. First sentence is I missed the school bus. I could not catch the school bus. You must have noticed that the meaning of these sentences is same. Both are conveying the same thing. But the first sentence, I missed the school bus, is an affirmative sentence because it has no negative word in it. Whereas the second sentence is a negative sentence because there is a negative word which is not. Now look at the other two sentences. My friend is absent today. And the second is, my friend did not come today. In these two sentences also, the meaning is the same. But the first sentence is an affirmative sentence and the second one is a negative sentence. Before we proceed, let us see what we learnt in this module. We learnt Declarative sentences are the sentences which make a statement or declare something. Declarative sentences are of two types, affirmative and negative. Declarative sentences end with a full stop. In the next module, we shall learn interrogative sentences.